Hello, my lovely Tauruses out there. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to jump straight into your reading. This will be for the 29th to the 4th of February. So let's dive straight in. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's dive in, please. For my lovely Tauruses spirit. All right, let's go. All right, so your energy for the week here, Taurus, is a five of cups. This is coming up for everyone. What's with the energies? So you might be feeling a little bit disappointed or again, maybe you are reminding yourself of past disappointment. I will say that you do have the three of swords in your overall energy on the bottom of the deck here. So there is some heartache that you guys might be feeling. Uh, this could be grieving the loss of something, the loss of a goal, loss of a dream, loss of an expectation, a loss of a person, a loss of a relationship, whatever it is, this is some disappointment coming through for you. Uh, this may very well be something that you've kind of already experienced already and you could just still be looking at those situations. Um, I will clarify it for you just to dive in a little bit deeper, but one really big major um, piece of advice that comes with this card is okay yeah you know something has spilled something is disappointing and it's okay to feel upset about that number one Taurus don't ever feel ashamed about it but when you are ready to move forward all right make sure that you remember that there is still something left here okay there is still something to look at and uh, focus on whether it's certain partnerships that you have people that you love a roof over your head that there is something to look at to build on you know like not all is lost when this card comes in it's a reminder to uh, not just look at the bad but also to remind yourself of the good that is still present in your life but let's see the, with the uh, five of cups please spirit of taurus the queen of swords ouchies and you've been through some crap right Again, some of you may have gone through a loss. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's actually gone through a lot of heartaches, which is why she doesn't lead from her emotions anymore. Um, you know, uh, so some of you may have, may be upset based on um, something that you did out of love, something that you did out of care, something that you did out of emotions, or something that, again, you are emotionally invested in may have led to disappointment here. And, and now you have a hard time stepping into those emotions because there it does feel like something your heart is still broken over something and that is completely okay to admit to by the way it doesn't change anything it doesn't mean you're going to stay there it just means that you're looking at the truth of a situation um and from there we can go okay so what is a way of healing this um which we will see during your reading i'm sure but queen of swords uh she's actually a widow so again, it could represent the fact that some of you feel like you've lost someone or uh, you are definitely feeling detached from people or again, from your emotions because it just feels quite upsetting when you tap into your emotions. Right, again, don't worry, not all is lost. I will carry on your reading and see what the, um, what the advice is from the universe. So let's see what your challenge is this week. Is a four sword is healing from the heartache. That is basically what we're saying here. So the three of swords, I would say that your heart is still broken. Um, your that is an energy that you are going into, but the your challenge here is actually coming up like addressing the pain, addressing the hurts, taking some time out. Some of you need like a mental health day, or again, you need to focus on your health in general, um, and taking a break. Some of you do need to take a break. You've been detached. I think you've detached yourself from your emotions. And that's why things aren't being healed is because you ref either you're not looking at it or when you do, you're only looking at the bad, which is fine. Probably shit, some shit has happened in your life, Taurus. That's okay. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it because this is a lot of swords and emotion, uh, and cups. So um, four swords is a card of um, taking a break. And I think your challenge is actually addressing those feelings because you have things to do and you have things to look out for and you have your work to do or responsibilities to do and you don't have time to to sit and cry about something and i think that tough love that you're giving yourself is not helpful when it comes down to your heart space i mean it's helpful when it comes down to you know prioritizing some things and maybe you have been super busy let's clarify your challenge here is to try and find some time to yourself to actually really address some of these pains that have happened so that you can heal it. Sometimes it's just looking at what is hurting you and figuring out, okay, but why is this hurting me? Like It depends on your situation, but some of you might be quite obvious. 
others of you you might have to keep asking yourself but why like but why does that affect me still but why um and the answers that you come with can actually lead to things that might give you a bit more clarity in how to heal from it but again it's hard to do, give you advice when i actually don't know what's upsetting you um let's see what the challenge please clarify the four swords for taurus the ace of cups your challenge is to really kind of bring love back into your life again my angels and you have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Now, this this could be in relation to um, a relationship, but it really is about that loving energy or, again, making a choice here on what you're paying attention to. For some of you, you got your heart broken um, and now you are refusing to open up because, again, it's almost like I'm seeing your heart locked away in a cage with this black blanket on top of it because you just don't want to look at it because when you look at it you're looking at your heart broken but instead of actually nurturing it and helping it heal and, and like almost like a pet like nurturing it to and focusing on it you know i think you need some nurturing all right this might not resonate with everyone but it's, very, it's clearly a very uh, important message for somebody so i am just going to keep going with it because it's just i feel like your heart needs to be looked at and i think a part of you actually maybe you feel a sense of abandonment and i actually want to cry i don't know what's happening here very emotional stuff oh my god i feel like a part of you feels like neglected and abandoned by something that's happened to you but in order for you to not look at it so that you can move forward and be disciplined and move forward and not look at it you're actually abandoning yourself even more so that's just it's just not healing you're not healing because of that it's just almost like i i want to say to you to look at it all right don't be afraid to look at your heart space or look at yourself like almost as if they want you to really look at the situation again depending on your situation it's very hard to give clear advice to everybody and not have some triggered people because I don't know what you're going through, but whatever it is, I'm sending you so much healing because whoever I'm speaking to, you really need it because your challenge is healing and love. The things that should be in your current energy are things that you're really struggling with. Uh, Ace of Cups, again, it doesn't mean if it's in terms of relationships, you don't need to jump into a relationship. This is actually about healing yourself, not denying yourself feelings and emotions and, you know, um, Look, she's very. She's not looking at her heart or her emotions. They're in a timeout. They're in a prison, basically. Very similar to the imagery I see with, like, basically your broken heart. So, Ace of Cups, doing something that makes you feel good, like emotional. That's okay. Go pull on like a chick flick and and cry to it. Like, I don't know. Whatever you need to do, like, don't be afraid of vulnerability. This week is something that I will say because, yeah. Uh, maybe you do have a lot of difficult emotions but there is something that is there that can be looked at and nurtured um, to feel better because abandoning it is just deepening the wound and I don't want you to do that this week to be honest because that's what you're struggling with already you know like don't don't keep doing to yourself what other people have done to you too you know don't deny yourself of love just because somebody didn't give it to you right don't abandon yourself just because you feel abandoned you know it's just like don't deepen the wound what you need right now is some tlc taurus you need some tlc you need some time out take a week off <laughs> and say to your boss that is said so um it's for your spiritual development that's more important than another company's um financial situation um because i i feel like you really need some tlc you really need some loving tend to love and care all right what to focus on for you taurus is the four of pentacles um what to focus on is in what area are we holding on to something too tightly or holding back the four of pentacles is a very stubborn energy which can very well represent that very stereotypical side of tauruses um where we might not be very open to change the four of pentacles um sometimes comes in where you know he's a king or he believes himself to be the king um and he feels like he needs to 
be in a very rigid way um, in order to grow when in reality he ends up never moving from the sea because he's not allowing himself to open up and grow he's not allowing the flow of life he's not releasing he's not letting things in so he stays stuck so again if there is an area of your life where you are not open if you're not allowing that ebb and flow to come into your life um then that is definitely an area that they want you to focus on here let's clarify this energy the queen of cups and the high priestess this has something to do with either your intuition um, well definitely your intuition and your emotions for a lot of you what to focus on does again feel like it is to do with like your spiritual side or your emotional side the queen of cups coming in here you could just be holding back your feelings and emotions. The high priestess represents someone who stays silent. Queen of Cups represents someone who is highly sensitive, highly intuitive. Both of these mean intuitive. So you guys do have a very deep intuition, but you're very blocked off. The way that they want you to be is in this energy. She's very, as you can see, she's very much surrendering to the energy that's around her. The difference between her and her is big. <laughs> So, yes, they kind of want you to not hold back your feelings and emotions. Be open, be vulnerable with yourself. You are feeling very sensitive at this time, and that's okay. Um, they want you to be in that. From here, you will really develop your intuition, your connection with yourself, your emotions, and your spiritual self, um, your connection with the universe around you. So if you're feeling a bit left out, it's because you're leaving yourself out. You're not tapping into the magic uh, and the beauty of the love uh, that surrounds you so again let the feelings flow is something i would say all right your recent past ace of wands some of you may have recently started like um like a new career new passion that's like to do with a fiery energy let's clarify that your recent past with taurus the love is hmm that's very interesting we do still have this sense of abandonment because of the five of pentacles and the uh, nine of swords and the five of cups there. So that's a lot of uh, disappointment and abandonment and overthinking and um, focusing again on the negatives or negative feelings. I feel like recently there has been like a new start or a new uh, person in your life. For some of you, it was like a short lived thing, like just a fling, for example, and you're feeling a little bit like maybe someone ghosted or someone abandoned you that's just for one person um or a few people sorry for others of you there's another message coming through about like you are kind of anticipating the worst and closing yourself off from people so that you don't get abandoned the ace of wands is a very passionate energy especially with the lovers so for some of you you know could be in relation to a person here but because you've got your heart broke for some of you, again, maybe someone was just really more interested in like the fiery energy or something rather than the stability that you guys desire. Maybe <laughs> for some, some of you may have been like caught up in just the heat of situations because you were scared to go into the emotional sides of, of things. Some of you, this is in relation to people. You have a hard time trusting people and trusting your intuition too like i think because in the past clearly you felt like your intuition or your feelings wronged you or someone wronged your feelings um so you have a hard time letting people in to your core basically is what it feels like and even your own self with that ace of cups being your challenge too right your strengths this week will be well, the Nine of Swords, so that's that overthinking energy. So how can it be a strength? Well, let's clarify. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Why is this Taurus's strengths? Why would this be the strengths? We got the Magician. Okay, well, that's very interesting because the Magician being, you know, your thoughts can create your reality and the Nine of Swords being your thoughts are a little bit, you know, focusing on the what ifs. Um... I have to be careful with my words here because some people get triggered with this for some reason. But, you know, if you think something negative, it doesn't mean that something negative is going to happen. By the way, number one, it has to be a belief. What you believe you deserve is something that will be reflected in your reality. And 90% of the time, it's because it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because when you... Um, 
let's try to find a good example because I do struggle with that when I'm on the spot. <laughs> um, because it, you know, for example, if your fear here is abandonment from people, then you'll struggle to build a deep connection with someone and show your true vulnerable self because you're scared of that being hurt, that it kind of blocks a relationship from happening or it causes you to detach from somebody. Um, and again, because it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy or... You know, when we believe when we can't have something without even realizing un unconsciously, we shake things up a little bit to kind of self-validate that I knew that was going to, I knew that past was going to, I knew they were going to abandon me. I knew this was only short time. Like it's, it becomes a cycle. And again, there are probably better examples, but I hope you guys are catching what I'm throwing out there. Um, your strengths here is that your mind is very powerful. At the moment, it's not being used to its best advantage, but it can. It's simply just where we focus on. Sure, crap things have happened. Crap things probably will still happen. Not forever, though. Um, what we focus on is really important. There was actually like an exercise that maybe you guys, not a physical one, don't worry, you don't have to do anything. Um, but it's something that I saw Tony Robbins do, and it's quite interesting. So if you look around you right now, do it with me right now. If you want to, you can skip ahead otherwise and like, look around you and take note of all the things around you and count how many things around you are brown for example or blue whatever color or both brown and blue and count those things okay now come back to me okay now how many things were red and you don't see it because you're not focusing on it now that you look around and you see the things that are red is because now you're focusing on the red is it what you focus on and what you uh, are looking for you are going to see if you're looking for bad things if you're looking for reasons to that people shouldn't be trusted and you're going to always find reasons that people shouldn't be trusted you understand what i'm saying self-fulfilling prophecies now again we focus on other things and instead of focusing on the bad what ifs we actually start focusing on the good what ifs um then we can actually see more of that we can create more of that in our world you guys are a manifested this week okay you guys are very powerful at this but if you're noticing a pattern of things kind of not really working out try to figure out where that's coming from of course we can't control everything and not everything bad that happens is because of your beliefs absolutely not it's simply to do with potentially your connections with people and therefore your connection with yourself too anyway some of you guys don't like when i'm preaching but you know this is just advice i'm just trying to help all right let's see your near future is the nostalgia okay well taurus uh six of cups coming through in the near future it does feel like there could potentially be some sort of like reunion this could be reunion of you know people who you have love and care for this could be old friends people you went to school with people you, you've known for a long time could be resurfacing uh, this could very well be to do with children family members or it could be some reunion coming through here others of you the six of cups could again what's interesting here is that there is progress you're in a five of cups you're moving towards the six i feel like for some and i'm going to clarify actually before i speak before i have to uh, chew on my own words let's see six of cups please and the justice mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now this is good because it brings balance into the picture okay that libran energy uh very much known for its venusian energy it shares the same planet as you that is its ruler which is the planet of love so you two you two signs um have some importance when it comes down to love and people okay so um, so justice here with the six of cups in the near future i really do see that you are actually going to be finding a balance with your past okay which is very good it is finding peace finding truth finding balance so there is some crap there is a sinister sinister side to the justice card there is some um negative there is some evil that's happened all right or again something that uh, you've struggled to deal with um however Things are being made right in the near future when it comes down to your past, when it comes down to your childhood, when it comes down to um, the things that you've dealt with and the things that were unfair. And we have the Eight of Cups here, which represents the fact that you'll finally be able to walk away from it, finally be able to um, seek for the things that you felt were missing. And for some of you, it is that kind of Two of Cups love energy. The Eight of Cups is trying to find the, the last two. And in this deck, 
She's walking away from that small flame that she felt. Um, I, I always kind of make up stories in my head. That's how I read tarot. I, I see these things come to life, you know. And it's almost as if um, whatever this fire represents is something that she was holding on to. And she thought, you know, if I walk away from this, I might not get it again. What she's walking into is actually the sun, which actually is like a big fireball anyway. So I think you are recognizing that there is a lot more out there in the world than what you have limited yourself to or that other people have limited you to. And therefore, as a consequence, you've done it to yourself as well. Okay. you're bringing something to balance you're coming to some sort of truth this week when it comes down to your history and i really really do feel like this is closing cycles all right your feelings this week the eight of pentacles you could very well be focusing on your money on your growth on your personal development which i love to see in a position of your emotions and with a card that's all about progress you're making progress emotionally which is very nice to see it's a pentacles card you'd like to see that with you because it's your earth energy because it's all about grounding you're grounding your emotions you're you're dedicating time to um fixing things well not fixing because you know nothing's really broken but developing it you're focusing on finding progress in areas where you feel like there is need for some and a full card that's very interesting expect your feelings to change this week which is quite good the fall with the eight of pentacles it's almost like diving into the work diving into something but not in a sense of dismissing your feelings this is in the air of your feelings you're actually diving into it you're working on it that's very good i like to see that the fall represents a new beginning so in terms of your feelings and emotions you are really starting a new beginning all right your environment this week is the two of wands a lot of you will be actually uh thinking about expanding something in your environment for some of you i don't know why some of you could be expanding the home so you can you could be doing like renovations expanding i don't know um adding things to it some of you could be looking for a bigger home some of you could be looking at growing a business or this just is a card of planning for the future okay and it's in terms of expansion it's in terms of actually looking at the fact that okay the world is your oyster here you've done something be proud of it but you are outgrowing your environment and it's time to look into the future and where it is that you actually want to go it's a really good card for planning and, and prepping and visualizing okay you have two here you have the eight of wands things moving very quickly for some of you there could potentially be some travel uh, it could be a little bit of conflict in your environment whether that's you know your own internal conflict and not being sure but eight of wands here is just saying to me that things will level themselves out if things are kind of going in different directions in your environment at the moment and it feels like things are just not falling into place they will do um again could represent some uh conflicts in your environment but eight of wands things will go in the same direction if there are people who are fighting if there's a little bit of disharmony in your environment again these people will all be on the same page soon enough okay same with yourself all right now another overall energy for you this week page of swords now again that is a triggered energy listen to your trigger here my angels listen to your trigger it's your inner child when the page of swords comes in sure it can also mean that there is potentially some people around you who are triggered by you who might be watching you keeping tabs on you but page of swords uh, if that's the case what can you do about it just keep that in mind um but this reading is really about you and your healing let's clarify it quickly page of swords we just had the three of cups come through i believe three of cups and the seven of wands I can pick it up uh coming through the page of swords so again this could be a card of again reunion it could be with some friends here in your close circle but it's also a card of gratitude and focusing on what you do have um and and the growing of that you know it's i almost see this as a ten of cups you are learning to love the journey learning to love what you have now and the things that you have now and protecting that with the page of swords being there again some of you are protecting yourself in some way uh limiting what gets to you what gets into your bubble here for a lot of you, you are protecting yourself protecting your inner child all righty um so that you can kind of heal something here all right my angels well i hope i wasn't too preachy and if i was i do apologize um 
I hope it resonated with you. Let me know if it helped you in any way, my lovely Tauruses. And I will see you guys next time, okay? I send you my love. I send you my healing. My condolences to anybody who has lost anyone lately because that is very difficult to deal with. And I don't really have the best advice for it because I don't even know how to deal with it when I'm going through it, you know? So it is just something that... I don't know. I actually have no advice for that, to be honest with you. Just know that they are around you, all right? And they would want you to be happy, not about their loss, but about, you know, to celebrate the life that they had and the fact that they are your guardian angel and moving forward, um, you know, they are going to always be with you, even if they're not there in person, which can be the toughest bit. Um, but they are with you and they are seeing everything, all right? So anyway, and they want the best for you. So make sure that you also want the best for yourself too. Okay, my angels, I love you guys. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you guys next time. All right.